following is from a cooperative project for acquiring skills essential to learning. Medic 1 copies will be en route to 1920 Lee Boulevard, room E122 for a female with chest pain. 1130. Dispatch from Medic 1. Medic one will be on scene. 10 4 11 14. She's in here. Roll. All right, BSI, seen us safe from what I can see. Uh, number of patients looks like one. Nature of illness is what? Trust me. Okay. Uh, additional resources at this time is not needed. And I'll consider C spine, but not at this time. My general impression of the patient is in obvious distress. Hi, my name is Jackie. I'm with Hi. South Central EMS. What's going on? Her chest hurts. Okay, uh, since she's talking to me, she's alert and oriented. Uh, her airway is open and patent. Chief complaint is chest pain. Uh, breathing seems to be labored. Uh, equal and bilateral chest rise. So when did this all happen? About an hour ago. Okay. And does it radiate anywhere? My back, my lower back. Okay. What were you doing when this started? Just sitting here, watching TV. All right. If you could rate that pain, zero being nothing, ten being oh, ten. absolute worst. Ten, definitely. Right. If you could describe the pain, what would it be? Crushing them. I'm gonna die. So, uh, I got a pulse of 80. Respirations are at 18. What are the vitals that the patient has? Pulse 95, respirations 20. Alright, so what's your name? Kelsey. Kelsey? I'm going to get a blood pressure here. And if my partner could grab blood aspirin, are you allergic to any medications? Yes, I know of. Okay, did you take any medications today? No. Any aspirin? No. Yep. 324 milligrams of aspirin, please. Baby aspirin? Yes. Okay. What's your name? Kelsey. I'm just going to give you these, and if you could, just chew them up, okay? Okay. All right. One sixteen over seventy five. They have one twenty eight over seventy nine. All right, Kelsey. Yeah. I'm gonna listen to some lung sounds. Hold <sighs> steady, still on your skin here. Just take a deep breath. on your finger here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hear clear in all lobes. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good. Well since her lungs are clear, pressure is okay to give nitro. I'm gonna give 0.4 milligrams of nitro. Thank you. Right. This is just gonna be a spray. It's gonna help with the chest pain. Alright, so you're saying this is a 10 out of 10 pain, okay, and it radiates to your lower back. Does anything make it worse or better? Not right now. And you say you don't take any medications? Has this ever happened before? Yeah. Okay, how long ago? Two years ago. Okay, and what happened? They said I had a heart attack. Okay. And I'm getting a SPL reading of 99%. 
that would. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so skin for me is a warm, dry, pink, and elastic turger. Uh, they're currently cool, diaphoretic, pale, poor turger. Okay. So how, you, how you feeling, Kelsey? Kind of dizzy. I'm dizzy. Okay, I'm going to grab another blood pressure, see how the nitro works. How's that pain doing? Any better with the nitro? Probably an eight now. Okay. Sinus rhythm at 90. Yep. And the pressure I got is 118 over 89. Nope, it's 78 over 42. Okay. Right. I'm going to reassess my patient. Skin vitals are still diaphoretic, cool, pale. Yes. Okay. Kelsey, how you doing? Just dizzy still. All right. Try to concentrate on that breathing, okay? And oxygen saturation still at 99%. 96. And how about pulse? Alright, let's put some stickers on your chest here, okay? 78. <laughs> Sounds good. Kelsey, where's that pain at now? It's just her chest. And I need your age for this EKG. 65. 65, okay. Uh, 65. Okay, um, noting the abdomen on palpation. Any pain at all? And I press. No doctor germs noted. Mm, one more. Okay. Oh, yeah. 65? Hands are cold. <laughs> Sorry. Still feeling pretty lightheaded? Yeah. Any blurred vision? Mm. Any nausea? A little. Okay. After we get this 12 lead, I'm going to get. Um, an IV set up. I'm pretty close with that. Alright, Kelsey, just hold real still for me, okay? Okay. Alright, firing a 12 lead. What's going on? I'm just checking out your heart. Is it good? We'll see. Still 8 out of 10 pain? Had nitro helped. Good. Very good. Alright. Sinus rhythm at 170. You notice that's the elevation. Alright. Well, Kelsey, we're going to do a rapid transport to the hospital. It looks like you're having an MI. Oh. All right, patient doesn't have a pulse and patient's not breathing. I need first responders to start CPR and ventilate 30 to 2, please. Other first responder. I need the mannequin bag. CPR again, please. Good depth. I'm getting adequate pulses, crowded in radial. I'm just going to turn on the metronome for you. What's your name? Billy. All right, Billy. Turn me the 
Thanks for that uh, high flow too. Um, One of the teeth. Stop CPR, looking at the monitor and asystole, not shockable, begin CPR again. Um, at this point, I'm going to contact medical control on transport. Medic 1 to uh, medical control. This is medical control. Go ahead, Medic 1. We have a 65-year-old female that presented with 10 out of 10 crushing chest pain radiating to the back. Uh, 
patient received 324 milligrams of aspirin, 0.4 milligrams of nitro spray. Uh, she had a stable pressure of 128 over 79, 95 beats per minute, and 99% oxygen saturation on room air, lung sounds were clear. Patient's skin title um, vitals are pale, cool, diaphoretic, and poor turgor. The patient then became lightheaded, dizzy, pressures dropped to 72 over 48. We obtained a 12 lead showing an anterior lateral MI. The patient then, then became unresponsive, pulseless, and apneic. Uh, CPR was initiated, VFib was confirmed. The patient was shocked a total of three times. The uh, patient received a total of two milligrams of epinephrine. 450 milligrams of amiodarone and 40 units of vasopressin. Patient was intubated, 21 at the teeth, confirmed with end title. And after 15 minutes of CPR, patient went into a systole. Med control copies your report. Um, do you feel that you've done everything? Are you good for this patient? Absolutely. Um, at this time, you could discontinue CPR and call corner. Copy.